Hey guys, I wanted to do one more quick video before the final shape comes out on Tuesday and I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about Buried Bloodline. It is the exotic special ammo sidearm that is available from Warlord's Ruin, uh, the dungeon that was released in Season of the Wish. If you have not gotten it yet, you have two days left to give it a try, run it on your characters, see if you get it, because I am telling you, this is the gun that the artifact coming with episode echoes when the final shape releases, this is the gun that was built for. What makes Barry Bloodline unique is it's double firing tracking bolts that leech health from targets. It's kind of similar to Indebted Kindness in that it is a projectile weapon. These projectiles have travel time. They're gonna require a little bit more thoughtful aiming to consistently hit your targets, but the tracking does help a little bit in that regard. Now, multiple final blows with the weapon grants devour to the wielder, meaning that final blows will start to restore health, grant grenade energy, and extend the duration of devour. This is super nice because devour is usually restricted to void subclasses, and buried bloodline essentially makes it so any subclass can use Devour, whether you're running Solar or Arc or Strand or Stasis, you can all take advantage of Devour and gain that additional survivability. Completing the Catalyst takes things even a bit further by making it that hits with Devour, while Devour is active, weaken targets. As a result, they take 15% more damage and it's basically a free debuff just for using the weapon as intended. And when you look at the artifact perks that we're going to be getting with episode Echoes, Buried Bloodline is poised to be one of the best exotics of the season. Almost as if they knew what they were doing when they made the gun and planned the perks that way. One of the perks I wanna point you to is Void Hegemony. While you have a Void or Prismatic subclass equipped, Defeating weakened targets provides a small void overshield. Given that Bloodline weakens enemies after multiple final blows with the Catalyst, this will be extremely easy to activate and should ensure regular overshield on top of the survivability of Devour. Then we get into Expanding Abyss. Void sources deal increased damage to weakened targets. Again, an easy layup for Bloodline as it's regularly weakening targets and now those targets take more damage, making them easier to defeat and therefore ensuring Void Hegemony has even greater uptime. And to top it all off, we have Shield Crush. While you have Woven Mail, Frost Armor, or a Void Overshield, your melee recharges faster and deals increased damage. While expanding Abyss is keeping Void Hegemony uptime at a maximum, you'll be benefiting from Shield Crush with stronger melees and faster recharge. If you choose to forego Void Hegemony, you could also try Transference with Shield Crush, which increases grenade and melee damage while transcendent, further buffing Shield Crush, assuming that the two do stack. It's going to require some testing that we can't really do right now. But needless to say, if you don't have Buried Bloodline, you have plenty of incentive to keep running Warlord's Ruin now and in the final shape. I fully expect this to be a heavily utilized weapon in the day one raid. I definitely expect to see a lot of people running this because it's going to make it so easy to... Let me rephrase that. Not so easy, but easier to survive in these more difficult encounters and you know people who probably ran this in pantheon even as it is we're probably having a better time i wish i had thought of it especially on the void weeks because this was kind of a layup definitely take the time to get this gun whether it's now if you get really lucky with your rng this weekend do it and when the final shape comes out, make Warlord's Ruin one of your first destinations after you complete the campaign. You know, after you've gotten some of the new guns and stuff like that, keep Warlord's Ruin on your radar, especially if you were running the day one raid. You want to get a chance at this gun. 
There are ways to complete the catalyst relatively quickly. It's not something that you need to worry about. Oh, shit, this is going to take me multiple weeks to do. There are ways to do it if you do it right. I'm not going to go into a whole guide of that right here. Just want to you know, give you some insight into the gun. And, you know, obviously keep an eye on Void as a whole. Uh, the rest of the artifact perks were released with this week's TWID. So check them out. I will link that uh, in the description. But, yeah, if you guys already have Buried Bloodline, let me know how you're liking it. I just knocked something down off my desk. I hope you didn't hear that. And if you did, that's what happened. Uh, and I will catch you guys in the final shape. Bye-bye.